A Bitcoin transaction is initiated with a message like send five Bitcoins that is broadcast to the entire Bitcoin network. A unique digital signature derived from the sender's private key and the message itself verifies the identity of the sender and the amount of Bitcoins to the entire network of nodes. The recipient's public key or address is used to verify the identity of the recipient. But what exactly is this message? What does it contain? The sender in a Bitcoin transaction doesn't actually send Bitcoins to the recipient. What they do send is a list of references to previous transactions in which they were the recipient of the same number of Bitcoins that they want to send. In order to spend Bitcoins, you have to prove that you're the true owner of a public key or address to which that number of Bitcoins was actually sent. In this way, no Bitcoins are actually exchanged, but rather ownership is passed along a chain in which the validity of each transaction is dependent on all the previous transactions. It's like tracing the path of a single coin through the economy from hand to hand, from the time it was minted to now, with valid ownership of that coin established for each person that held it along the way. In fact, when you first install Bitcoin Wallet software, it downloads every transaction ever made and checks each one's validity all the way back to the very first transaction. So instead of a balance of actual Bitcoins, all you really have is a list of transactions with a long, verifiable chain behind them that establishes your ownership of the coins. And that's how Bitcoin ownership works.